If you're planning on moving to Washington State, you might wonder, which is better, Seattle or Tacoma? Today I'm going to share with you the main differences between living in Seattle and living in Tacoma. Hi, my name is Karen Jackson and I'm a realtor in the Seattle Tacoma area with John L. Scott Real Estate. I have lived here my entire life and I like to share all about the greater Seattle area. So be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my new videos. They come out weekly. So Seattle and Tacoma are approximately 35 miles or so from each other, but they each have a very different feel. So before moving to Seattle or Tacoma, you will want to know the differences. Both Seattle and Tacoma share some commonalities. They are both on the Puget Sound. They both have stunning views of the water and the mountains. They both have lots of parks and trails nearby. There is no state income tax in Washington State, so no tax in Tacoma or Seattle. Traffic stinks if you're commuting to either city. Each have their areas where you can always expect to have a backup. Both Seattle and Tacoma are quite expensive to live. The cost of living is a bit less in Tacoma. Seattle's is 167.8 and Tacoma is 118 based on a U.S. average of 100. The food is awesome in either Seattle or Tacoma. If you can name it, you can find it. The winters are kind of long, especially this one. It seemed to last forever. Nightlife in both places is great. There's lots of bars, restaurants, theaters, and dancing. According to NeighborhoodScout.com, the crime rate in Tacoma is 11.99 per 1,000 residents. Seattle is 8 per 1,000 residents. Chances of becoming a victim in a crime is 1 in 83 in Seattle and 1 in 125 in Tacoma. It is 1 in 298 in Washington State. Everyone in Seattle and Tacoma loves the sun, so the first sunny day of spring feels like a holiday. If a person can miss work, you bet they're going to. Residents in Seattle and Tacoma are both diehard Seahawk fans. Every Friday, you will see a sea of blue and green clothing attire everywhere you go. People in Washington love their coffee and outdoors, whether you're in Seattle or Tacoma. There is coffee on every corner, literally. There's lots of trails, there's water, hiking, and skiing within an hour and a half of either city. Have you ever been to Seattle or Tacoma? Which city did you like best? Drop it in the comments below. I would love to hear. Tacoma is not as populated as Seattle. Seattle is the largest city in Washington state, and Seattle is bigger in size, approximately 84 square miles, versus Tacoma's just over 63 square miles, so quite a difference. Seattle's population is 733,000 and Tacoma's is 219,000, so a huge difference. The median home value in Seattle is $820,000 and the median home value in Tacoma is $460,000. Seattle's home prices are amongst the most expensive in Washington state. Seattle is one of the more educated communities in America. 65.88% of its adults have a college degree or even an advanced degree compared to the national average across all communities. Seattle has many universities and colleges. Some of the most popular include University of Washington, Seattle University, Seattle Pacific University, Seattle Central College, North Seattle College, and Seattle University School of Law. If you attended one of these colleges, drop a like. Tacoma has more people living in the area who work in computers and math than 95% of the places in the United States. The education level of Tacoma citizens is substantially higher than the typical U.S. community. 31% of adults in Tacoma have at least a bachelor's degree. Tacoma has a pretty impressive lineup when it comes to colleges as well. Some of the top schools include the University of Puget Sound, Tacoma Community College, University of Washington, Tacoma, and PLU, Pacific Lutheran University. As far as politics go, Seattle is mostly Democrat, 69% and 21% Republican, and Tacoma is more evenly matched, 47% Democrat to 40% Republican. The median household income in Tacoma is approximately $30,000 lower than Seattle. Seattle seems to have more artists, designers, and people working in media. In both Seattle and Tacoma, telecommuters are a relatively large percentage of the workforce. Approximately 22% of people work from home. This number seems sort of small, but as a fraction of the total workforce, it is high relative to the nation. 
Tacoma seems to be a little slower paced to me than Seattle. Both Tacoma and Seattle have lots of fun things to do. They both have a great waterfront. I especially love to walk the Ruston Way walking trail in Tacoma. There's lots of great restaurants in both cities. Seattle has more well-known tourist attractions. There's Pike Place Market, the Space Needle. Seattle and Tacoma both have great zoos. Point Defiance is in Tacoma and Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle. There's also Northwest Trek in Tacoma area. Seattle has more transportation options. The Sounder Train, the Light Rail, and the bus system. The transit score in Seattle is 60 and Tacoma it's 54. Both have great medical facilities. In Tacoma, you have Tacoma General, Good Sam, MultiCare, Allenmore, St. Joseph's, Mary Bridge Children's Hospital, and St. Francis. And I'm sure I've missed a couple. Seattle is a bit more walkable than Tacoma, although both of these have tons of hills. Walk score rating is 74 and the bike score is 71 in Seattle. And the walk score in Tacoma is 54 and the bike score is 48. This can vary depending on what neighborhood you're in. As far as housing goes, you will find similar style homes in both Seattle and Tacoma. Typically in the city, you're going to find the older homes built in the 1900s and many condos and apartments. Seattle has more high-rise condos, but Tacoma has many condos as well. Some of the older homes are being replaced with newer homes or townhomes. As you go out to the suburbs, you tend to find more of a neighborhood feel and get into the newer housing developments. Most of the 2,000 and newer homes consist of very small lots, around 5,000 square foot. Sometimes you can find a little bigger or a little smaller. We don't have a lot of land left near the city, so they cram in as many as they can. There's five foot setbacks on each side. Many professionals live in Tacoma for its affordability, and then they commute to Seattle both for work and to visit attractions. Tacoma is home to one of the largest ports in the United States, covering more than 2,400 acres. The Port of Tacoma has the Port of Seattle beat, which covers just over 500 acres.